to my review of Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot. Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot is a new Tina Fey film where she is taken by a news reporter or a reporting system, a news reporter, to go to Afghanistan and go and look at war things. And then as she goes on her supposed three-month trip, it lasts for a few years. And it's just her going through those weird years of her life and just all the strangeness that happens. I gotta say, I loved Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It's a great movie. It, the 62% of Rotten Tomatoes for me is ridiculous. I don't see how anyone dislikes this movie. It's highly enjoyable. Um, there's very few jokes that miss. It's very, very funny. It's There's many times that my theater, mostly full of old people, you know, Tina Fey more appeals to the young crowd. There's a lot of old people in my audience, and they were laughing a lot. A lot of people were laughing. It's a very funny movie. Um, there's some chemistry between Tina Fey and Martin Freeman. I'm, I mean, that's kind of a spoiler, not really, but they have fantastic chemistry. They just feel so good as a couple. I almost want them to date in real life now, because they just, they do great together. The acting is superb. It's just Everyone does great. I mean, sometimes there's some over-the-top actors, but those are only background actors. And the main focus of the movie, and everyone that does the main focus, even some people that you think, if it was a predictable movie, a lot of you critics have said it's predictable. I don't find it that way. If it's a predictable movie, you think, oh, that person probably won't have that good of acting. But they do. They have really good acting. Um, the tone is very consistent. It's, it, I found that really great. And uh, it's very very emotional. It's very deep, and it has a lot of topics about the world, about long-distance relationships, about the world in Afghanistan, and, you know, maybe is a world in Afghanistan better than a life in the U.S.? It's very, very well done. It's, it's a very funny and emotional movie. It's got a lot of heart for a comedy, and I found it to be very good. Also, one really good thing I found about it, the technology was very good for the day, because they span over from, like, 2005 to 2009 or so and all of the technology in 2005 they have flip phones they have old skype in 2009 they have old ipods and then skype's a little bit updated it's great so those are the good things i had very few bad things about it uh i thought it was a little long uh, it's runtime i believe is an hour and 51 minutes and they could have cut out at least 20 minutes made it an hour and 30 minutes because it's kind of long and uh at times about after they reach a certain year, it just completely loses focus. And it just sort of stops being a film and just starts being a collage of what happens through that year. And you're sort of like, okay, can we start getting back to it? And then something happens and it goes straight back to focus. But overall, Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot is a great film. I got this review out late, but if it's still playing in a theater near you, go see it. It's very enjoyable, very good, and that is why I will give Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot an 8 out of 10. Ridiculous that it has 62% of Rotten Tomatoes. So that was my review of Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.